Anyway, in this video we're checking out the Flex RC Ninja Frame. This one here is the 2mm version. I believe it also comes in a 2.5mm version and 3mm version. So obviously you're going to have different thicknesses of the bottom plate for um, maybe for more powerful setups. With bigger motors it's going to be heavier or you can go for a lighter setup here that I have. This is actually all the parts from the Mobula 7 HD because that, that model was kind of doomed from the start, I think, for me. I'm not exactly sure what was up. Maybe that frame was just no good. But I moved everything over to this frame. It is, um, uh, basically this frame has a bottom piece here and it looks like this dead cat sort of arrangement of the arms where the arms are off the side. That's to keep the props out of the view of the video. And you see here that I'm using 65 millimeter props, but this frame is actually meant for three inch props. So yeah, I'm on a lighter two, two millimeter setup here. I think that this frame might be better suited for um, something with a little more aggressive motors and just a bigger setup in general. But you can also do these sort of conversions here for a lot of the cine whoops that are out there with the 1102, 1103 motors. I think even just going from 1102 to 1103 might make a pretty big difference, although you do get gain quite a bit of weight. So now this being, these arms kind of being further apart and the motors uh, being further out, I had to use this little, um, little mini micro race wire here to get the motors to plug in and basically the, the motor wires weren't long enough so I cut those off, soldered them to the race wire and then I used these uh, plugs here that go into the bottom as you can see. Those are actually <laughs> Uh, the same plugs that come with like run cam cameras, CADEX cameras, all the FPV cameras. It's the um, three pin 1.25 millimeter pitch connector. That's the one that, that these motors are using. So I use that, cut that off, and then solder that to the race wire here. Just so um, that's, otherwise, I would you would have to extend the motor wires, which is also kind of a hassle. The rest of the parts are the same. Obviously, you got the CADEX turtle there from the Mobula 7 HD, and all the stack parts to the turtle is on this part here. You got your all-in-one -all flight controller there, and I stuffed the video transmitter right there between the turtle and the flight controller. The, getting the parts on here from the Mobula 7 frame is a little tricky. Uh, you do have to put that with a long screw that's included with the frame. Have that up through the bottom here, and it is mounting the stack. Well, it's mounting the flight controller board and the video transmitter. And then obviously the turtle boards are 20 by 20 board and these other boards here are 26 by 26 boards. So you need a little adapter that I 3D printed and it looks like this. Uh, I'm not sure you can see. Yes, you can see it's um, basically it allows you to have the this part here go into the stack screw that's there's a little, little piece sticking out and then there's a screw right there. It's, it's a self-tapping screw that goes into this little adapter piece, that little 3D printed piece. So what I did is I just took this part here, uh, I, I modified a part that FlexRC made. There's actually a hole for there that this little self-tapping screw is um, too small for, so it wasn't grabbing the parts. So I just uh, modified this part and filled in that hole so that the self-tapping screw just goes right into the TPU and grabs onto it nice and clean. So I mounted these little pieces to the turtle board first, and then I just, basically the hole there for the screw goes into this uh, piece, uh, the bottom piece here, and just slides on. So basically that just goes onto the top there. So that's how the stacks put together. It was a little bit tricky sort of figuring that all out, but that's uh, what it looks like. And uh, once you get that, it looks nice and clean, as you can see, nice, nice and clean in terms of the setup. These also are, I think those are also included with the frames. These are some 3D printer parts for the cover. And then you just have some screws that go into that 3D printer part here. And then you have a one standoff here for this 3D printer part that goes into the front there. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the parts are just, you know, the uh, standard parts from the Mobile 7 HD. Um, I don't think there's anything other than those parts. Um, and of course you have the space down here for the USB port. And this is, you know, pretty light for little 3 inch. Uh, HD micro, and I think it's like 55 grams or something like that. So, you know, 56, yeah, 57 grams, pretty light. Um, now, in terms of like, you know, you get this question all the time: uh, Can you do acro 
mode with this. Sure, you can do flips and rolls with this, but this is not real. I don't think that the power system on here with these little tiny 1102 motors and this big prop, it's not going to give you a very satisfactory freestyle um, performance unless, you know, you move to a different power setup. So I do have another one of these frames that I haven't built yet. It's, um, it's right here. This is actually the 2.5mm version. I'm going to build another one of these with bigger motors. I think then you're going to be able to see some better acro performance because I think for some acro performance on this sort of a bigger, uh, I think on a three inch setup, you know, with a bigger motor, like say an 1105 motor, for example, you know, something like that, I think is going to give a better, a better like a uh, performance and a better look than what I have here. So yeah, this flies fine. You can do flips and rolls with it. I don't really think that is it. The performance is all, all that great. Um, but what this is really good for is like cruising at the park, like in stealth mode. This is super quiet. I mean, with this prop here, it doesn't make any noise at all. I was flying it on this uh, 500 milliamp hour 2S battery. And you can get, uh, this battery, I can get like, if I'm just cruising around, not really on the throttle too much. I was getting like six, seven minutes of flight time. So if you are into just kind of cruising around, get some HD footage, at the park and you know you don't want to disturb anybody this is like really quiet doesn't make any noise at all really light and yeah if you happen to um, crash or whatever you're probably not going to have any damage especially if you're at a park with grass it should be totally fine um, I did fly this on a pretty bright day and I did put the Caddx Turtle ND filter on this so in the footage you'll see this with the ND filter and it's you know the little bit of vibration I think that I think that maybe these old jump fan props are a little bit unbalanced, so there's some vibration in the system here, but um, also could be some tuning issues as well. But overall, I was pretty happy with it, and I thought the video footage you get out of this and how fast and quiet it is is pretty remarkable. So if you have an Amobula 7 HD or another Cine Whoop, um, you know, check this one out. Not only can you mount the typical, you know, the, these diagonal 26 by 26 whoop boards, you can also mount the standard 20 by 20 and uh, 16 by 16 stacks as well in here. If you if you happen to have those parts on a, a different kind of uh, cinema, like say like the um, the Rex 80 or the Scorpion 80, for example, or like the SPC Maker Mini Wheel HD, all those can probably fit in here. The really the only thing is ex extending the motor wires because of the basically going from like a 40 millimeter prop to like a three inch prop then you're going to have to um, do the little race bar thing here. So anyway, I'll put all parts uh, list down in the description. Here's some flight footage for you. And uh, stay tuned for another video down the road on another setup here with a different sort of power system. And you get a, a sense of, you know, what a different power system will be like on, a, on basically this a similar frame as this one. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.